Welcome back, my adoring public, to more Trails of Cold Steel. Feral Fiasco here, and it looks like we just found out what that spot between, the mystery spot between Laura and Elliot. Looks like we found out who goes there now. Uh, and we've also got Crow standing at the very end of the row, so I wasn't actually, um, wasn't actually expecting them to put these two characters, Crow and Milliam, on the start screen for us. I know Crow's gonna be with us for the next three months, so I'm guessing if Crow's was if Crow's with us for the next three months and he's with the main party on the title screen, my guess is that we've got another three months left in the game. But I could still be completely wrong. But we're actually gonna go ahead and pick things up from here so let's jump right into this okay we're ready to take on the world and the dorm so this because i remember the room right across from reen was the one that was actually empty yup crow let's see and there should be another empty room on the girls floor wait but where does instructor sarah and sharon where do they sleep actually find out so he's got boots a dartboard and cars oh okay because he's a gambler okay and an extra jacket hmm i wonder if this is a character who will who is from another game like this is a cameo or if i'm overthinking it what do you have to say for yourself crow Yo, sure didn't take long for you to pay me a visit. Who would have thought we'd end up right across the hall from each other? <laughs> Guess you just faded to be a part of my life, huh? <laughs> so you say. Still, it feels strange knowing you'll be living here from now on. It all happened so suddenly that it hasn't really sunk in yet. <laughs> Whoop, that didn't mean, didn't mean for that to happen. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You don't have to hold back your joy at getting to live with a cool second year all the time. Yeah, I guess you did help me out in a big way last month down in the old schoolhouse. Though I couldn't help but notice you've got quite a collection of games here. Sure do. Brought them all over from my old dorm room. I'm not exactly smelling like a rose as far as credits go, but you've got to give yourself a break now and then, right? <laughs> Wise words. Though in your case, I get the impression you're never all that busy to begin with. Anyway, we're classmates in dorm buds now, so be sure to keep it casual between us. I'm sure you'll get used to it soon enough. <laughs> I'll try at least. Okay. So that's Crow in his mysterious pinup. Hmm. Please... And then hose, that's the only other word that you can make out on that. Elliot. He's just doing Elliot stuff. He stares at a wall while he practices? That's actually kind of weird. Tomorrow's the big day. We'll be having our performance at the church. <sighs> just thinking about it is giving me butterflies in my stomach. Not sure what my schedule's going to be like tomorrow, but I'll definitely come see you if I have time. Thanks. It'd be great to have you there cheering me on. I'll be filling in for Hebel, so he's counting on me too. Um... See, that's the part where I like, Elliot, you're okay now, but you're still more Elliot's friend, um, more Reen's friend, and while I'm controlling you, you and Reen are close, but not close enough to spend a bonding point on if you catch my drift. The very fate of the chess club rides on tomorrow's match. I'll have to use every spare minute between now and then to sharpen my skills. Wow, you're really fired up about this. Good luck, Machias. Thanks. Sharpen his skills. Machias was all bent out of shape over beating up some, uh... Because I have not been keeping up with Machias' story. The very fate of the chess club rides on tomorrow's match. We'll show those snobs they picked the wrong club to mess with. I thought all the nobles went home, though. 
Though, when I think about it, it, it makes sense that some nobles, especially ones like Ferris, would stay behind just to make sure that Machias didn't get too big for his britches or whatever. They'd screw over their own vacation just to stick it to the to the commoners, as Elisa likes to put it so eloquently. <laughs> the dorm's bounds have become a lot more lively now that Crow and Milliam are living with us. I can't help but wonder what sort of wind those two will blow into our class. I suppose only the goddess herself knows. Let's just hope it's a good one. So, apparently... I'm not the only person who thinks everybody's constant references to sensing and Gaius being all the winds all the time is weird. Like, there's, apparently there's, and I'm not sure how true this is, I'm just going off what, because I trust what you guys tell me in my comments implicitly, and I've never had any reason to doubt anybody yet, so I'm not going to, but it's like, apparently people think that his wind, what he's talking about with the wind, is like some sort of like power that has yet to be explained i don't know but it keeps in line with this sensing because it's too it comes up too often too specifically to be just a coincidence i don't know <laughs> hey there Yusis. what's that you're reading oh it's just you don't surprise me like that <laughs> sorry about that is that a letter from your brother? Not quite. It's nothing terribly important. It dawns on me now that tomorrow will be our first free day since Crow and Milliam joined the class. You'll have to watch Milliam like a hawk to ensure she doesn't stir up any trouble. Wait, why is that my responsibility? Dude, you do everything, Reen. Um, is that all the guys? Including Crow now. Crow's throwing me off. Okay. Now let's see what the ladies on the upper floor are doing. Oh, right. Okay, so this is... This is... Hold on. Okay, this is Instructor Sarah's room, so she does live in the dorms in a room. That's interesting. X's and check marks and circles. I'm gonna have to compare what's going on here to the map in the train station next time I get a chance. Though I'm not gonna remember what's marked where at the time, but that's interesting. And here's Milliam's room. She has a laptop? She's got an Orbal laptop? Wait. I thought George was still working on the, the desktop prototype. What the heck? Okay, so Milliam's got an Orbal laptop for whatever reason. She's got pens here. And she's got cute stuff. Palms. The bane of my existence. Hmm. Okay, I take back what I said about Crow. These look like references, cameos from past games that are going completely over my head right now. Super, what does that say? Super, super spruce day, super spice day, super service day, super service day. Okay, so, hmm. What, dude, Million, what's going on in here, dude? Hey, Reen, what's up? I got my room all nice and tidy now. Wow, this is pretty cute now that it's all fixed up. You even got dolls in here and everything. <laughs> I know, right? I just wish I was allowed to bring Lammy out in the dorms. He'd really tie the place together. Yeah, that probably isn't a good idea. It's a pretty old building, and you'd get in big trouble if you ended up smashing your room's walls. Or the floor. Hmm, I guess. What a bummer. Oh well, I'll just take him to the park when I want to play with him. It's not like he's a dog or something. Hmm. I wonder what their, like, I wonder if their relationship is master and servant or if they're best friends. If, if she beckons, does Lammy have to come or does he choose to? Hmm. 
her and her lacrosse stuff. I've got lacrosse practice tomorrow, but this is one I'm not looking forward to. All because Ferris refuses to stop pestering me about competing with her. I wish she'd just stop. I mean, you can either be a Reinford, or you cannot have people hating you for who you are. You can't have it both ways, Elisa. Though, I, I admit that Ferris, she's been going at this for longer than Yusis has it, and Machias have at this point. Hmm. Either Laura is a Ravenclaw, or this is her family crest. And since she strikes me as more of a Gryffindor, I'm gonna go ahead and go at the latter. What's up, dude? It may be incredibly hot, but on the bright side, the swimming club is that much more of a refreshing experience. Especially now that Monica has been improving her times by leaps and bounds. I should learn from her example and keep improving myself every day. Okay. So it looks like she's, uh... Her whole being super mean to Monica as a redirection of her anger towards Fee. It looks like that's all... Sorted out. Wait, whose room is this? Emma? That rose on the wall. This could be Fee's. Are these runes and stuff? Hmm. I don't know what those pyramids are, but those look like runes. And a Torah? Or a menorah? What the heck? So this is Emma's room, but I'm even more confused than I was when I thought this was V's room. Okay, books. So this is probably Emma. Where is Emma at at this time of night? Off doing something traitorous, I assume. Being super sneaky. Okay, so this is... Fee's room. She's looking at her fresh kicks, because she's the one with the Stragas, because I get that reference now. She's the one who really likes the Stragas. Um, these must be her explosives for her craft. Keep... Either that's Russian, like the, that's the Cyrillic alphabet, or that's just completely illegible. V does strike me as being more Russian than everybody else. I wonder which ones I should wear tomorrow. Hmm. I guess the Stragas will do. Easy to move around in. Isn't Straga a classic shoe brand? <laughs> I never knew you were so discerning about sh uh, your shoes. I guess. Well, I mean, when you think about it, well, at least to me, it kind of makes sense. Because Fee needs to, if Fee were to lose traction or slip on the battlefield, that could mean her dying. So, of course, she'd want a good, reliable shoe brand. And then, okay, so we've got Instructor Sarah and Emma out of their beds. So let's go ahead, head down to the first floor see what's going on here oh okay Celine so Emma could be up to something traitorous still huh what's Celine doing here <laughs> she seems to have made her way in did something happen Celine Meow. maybe she's hungry Meow. Hmm. no it doesn't look that way if only we could understand her um, yes, wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> oh, now you want to be voiced. I'm sorry, Celine, but it's getting, it's already getting late. You can come visit us again tomorrow. Okay. Is Instructor Sarah boozing it up? Oh! Sharon, what's up? Where do you sleep, actually? Lady Sarah will be returning home late today. She made mention of an important discussion with the principal. With the principal? I wonder what that entails. A small number of possibilities come to mind. However, I believe they are most likely discussing what highly difficult task to assign you next. I really hope not. 
You know, Reen, I would bank on Sharon for this one. She's probably right. Um, so if Sarah's out, then we know where she's at. Okay, and this must be where Sharon sleeps. Does Sharon have a bigger room than everybody else? Well, I, it's 12.04. It's about time servants had equal rights too, I say. But that is actually about it. Hmm. Yeah. I think we... I'm just going over to make sure I didn't forget Machias again. And... We can go ahead and call it a night. Should I call it a day? Choosing to rest will cause the day to change and the main story to advance. You know, the game doesn't have to tell me this every time anymore. Alright. So usually we get a scene when the day changes. So let's see what craziness is going on. Or it'll just skip us directly to the next day. 821, 822, yep, free day. S21? S21? Do they have a different word for month in Erebonia? S21. Or year, uh, duh. Not a different day for a month, a different day for a year. Obtain student council tasks, August. Thor's Seven Mysteries. Are you kidding me? This is such like, okay, it's not a bad thing, but it's like a serious cliche with Japanese high schools. The Seven Mysteries of the school. Kingdom Hearts 2 did it. Uh, lots of anime do it. So that's how you know Thor's is a Japanese high school. In everything but actuality. Barrel. Lately, the other girls have been going on about the seven mysteries of the Academy. I desire this grim knowledge. If you do too, visit the Occult Research Society Club room in the Student Union building. Okay. Side by side car. We're adding a new feature to the bike and we want you to give it a test run. Come see us in the engineering building when you're ready to ride. Old Schoolhouse Mystery 5. Does anyone in Class 7 actually read these? If I wrote whatever I wanted here, would they investigate the Old Schoolhouse regardless? Perhaps I should use this opportunity to tell a joke. I know just the one. Two men walk into a bar, instructors Nightheart and Thomas, perhaps, and one says to the other, Oh, blast it, I'm out of room. Principal Van Dyke. Okay, so it's good to know Van Dyke has a bit of a personality under there. Looks like there's quite a few jobs today. Toa seemed pretty swamped when I saw her, too. I'm not sure what it is that's keeping her so busy, but I want to do what I can to lighten the burden. And then there's the old schoolhouse, too. I'll have to free up some time for that. That door and our almost dead sister reveal. That was so random when that happened. I guess we'll just have to see what we turn up this month. I promised to tell Crow and Milliam when I was going, so I'll have to give them a call when I'm ready to head in. Okay, so you know what that translates to? Probably we're gonna have to take Crow and Milliam with us. Uh, I was not planning on using Crow. Well, they should give us a support member in addition to three attack members, so I still have... Oh, are you leaving early today? Sharon. Yeah, I was just about to head out. <laughs> Do take care, then. The sky is looking a little ominous today, so I'd suggest taking an umbrella. You sure? It seems like another boiling summer day to me. <laughs> Perhaps it is right now, but I have a hunch it won't last a day. Either way, I pray you'll have another fruitful day. <laughs> Thanks, Sharon. I'll see you later, then. Obtained special ops uniform. Obtain special ops faceplate. Okay, cool. So if you guys notice, Reen's total non-reaction to super serious Principal Van Dyke telling a joke in that letter, and he's completely right. It's canon that Reen is actually not reading what he's writing in the letters anymore. He's just doing it. 
So, I mean, he nailed it right there, but we're actually going to go ahead, step out into the bright, wide world of Trista, and we are actually going to call it a part here. We're gonna get started on Thor's Seven Mysteries, but that's going to be next time. So join me then for more Trails of Cold Steel. Bye for now, guys. Hey, hey, hey.